Roger with CableGiant.com. I'm here to show you how to install a BNC connector, a crypt type, onto an RJ59U coaxial cable used for installing camera systems. First thing I would recommend that you consider is the right tools. First tool you should have is a good mate multi-cable cutter tool. This happens to be a part number 63020 made by Klein. Also an economy type stripper. This happens to be a part number 204. 300, these sell for about $6.95, and I'll show you how to use it. It's a great little tool to have in your toolbox. Also, you need a decent type crimp connector. This happens to be a part number 204005. And then we have two types of uh, BNC connectors in the crimp world. We have a universal uh, that comes packaged in one part. And I, like, I particularly like this, especially if you're doing a lot of installs, because this particular connector allows you to do regular RG59 PVC cable or RG59 plenum cable, RG6 PVC cable or RG6 plenum cable. And these are the parts you get with the connector. You get the standard uh, plug, BNC plug, plus you get three furrows to fit all four of those cables. So it simplifies installation, minimizes uh, stock inventory, and can save your installers a lot of time and money. Or you can choose just to uh, buy the standard BNC connector for the cable itself if that's all you do is just PVC work. Okay, now let me show you how to install a connector. First thing you need to do is prepare the cable correctly. And with BNC connectors that are crimp, you need to uh, uh, show a little bit more of the center conductor. A good coaxial cable has a 20 gauge bare copper center conductor and a pure 95% copper braid. So the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the outer jacket. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off about a half inch of it to expose the braid. And then I'm just going to take my fingers and pull the braid down. And then I'm going to cut, reverse the stripper and cut what the, the white part is called the dielectric. We're going to trim that back and only expose about uh, less than an eighth inch of it so that the center conductor is exposed. Now the main thing you want to do in cable preparation is you want to make sure that none of this braid here touches the center conductor. If it does, you will have a short. Now one thing I didn't do that I should have done first is I should have installed the furrow. And you need to find the furrow that's going to fit the cable. Um, this one fits perfectly. If I were to grab another one, this one would probably be a little too tight because this is for plenum. And this one is a little too large. This one was actually designed for the RG6. So this happens to be the right uh, furrow. Once that's installed, you take your uh, BNC connector, insert the center pin into the, the back, then you push the braid forward over the connector, like I'm doing here. I hope you can see this. Once the braid is up there, you, you push the furrow forward so it seats up to the connector like that. Then you take your tool, and the first thing you do is you want to crimp the large part of the barrel, which is right in back of the connector itself. This is a ratchet type crimp connector, so you just apply enough pressure to form the octagon shape that you can see there. The next thing you do, the final step, is you crimp the back of the furrow. And you do that with the ending jaws, and you crimp that one time. Now you have a perfectly installed crimp connector. You have your octagon crimp uh, right after the, uh, the connector, and then you have the back end. And this kind of gives you a double seal. Uh, this is the proper way a connector should look once it's installed on your coaxial cable. I hope this makes sense. We thank you for joining us today, and we hope you have a good day. Thank you for listening.